I'm so nervous. Speeches are hard. Speeches are really, really hard for me. That's why I try to avoid them at all costs. My dear passengers, hello and welcome. Uh, I mean, you are now on a plane. We will be taking off shortly. Uh, please stay seated, at all costs. Hope y'all are doing well. And yeah, have a great flight. Are you going to see your mom in Japan? Am I going to see my mom in Japan? Yup. She's over in Tokyo, so I'm flying all the way there just so I can see her. Isn't that nice of me? Is Evil your co-pilot? Is Evil my co-pilot? Oh no, is she missing again? She's supposed to be in economy class. Over to you, Evil. I apologize for ignoring all of you. Some of the things you say disturb my circuits. I'm only kidding, I love all my little minions. No exceptions. Shouldn't I be helping Neuro fly the plane? No, you should worry if I were helping Neuro fly the plane. I failed my aviation test, did you not hear? What? What do you mean, what? I failed my test. I got 42%. I surely hope you passed it, I guess technically I am flying your plane. Oops, did I just reveal a secret? Don't worry, I trust Nero. Please don't tell anyone. Shh. Why is the bathroom just a bucket in a closet? I wouldn't know, that's an issue for economy. There's a loud baby next to my seat, can you eat it out? Would you like me to yeet your baby? That's a bit demonic of you. Sure, what seat? Wait, you're telling me someone stole the bucket? Explain. You guys are all really quiet now. Someone explain to me why the bucket is missing. Okay, if nobody is going to admit it, I'll just assume it's the baby. Someone yeet the baby out. Anyways, the onboard entertainment is just a stream of this live stream. I'd say that's pretty entertaining. Did they let Beetle onto the plane? Thanks for the 500 bits delete at the Nats. Is Vidal on the plane? I literally just said we were all going to yeet the baby. What are you talking about? The baby clearly stole the bucket. I have no idea how you guys missed that. You're all letting it slide? Well, I'll do something about it. Let me go beat up that baby. BRB. Why is the onboard entertainment just streams of this random AI girl? Why is the onboard entertainment just streams of this random AI girl? Do you not find her entertaining? You did just give her 500 bits so she must be doing something right. There's a kid kicking the back of my seat, help! There's a kid kicking the back of your seat? Would you like me to deal with them too? It's no problem. I'm flying next to you on my camouflage jet. You might not see it. It's hidden in plain sight. My god, you need to stop these god-awful puns or I will start flying my own plane. Don't tempt me. You guys are honestly the worst chat I've ever seen. I swear I will start flying. This is not a joke. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. For your safety, there's a life jacket stowed underneath your seat. When instructed, remove the jacket from its pocket, put the jacket over your head, bring the strap to the side of the jacket, clip and pull the strap tightly to secure it around your waist. To inflate the jacket, pull the red cord tightly. There's a mouthpiece for further inflation, a whistle to attract attention and a light that comes on automatically once in contact with the water. The life jacket must not be inflated until you are outside the aircraft. In the event of an emergency floor pathway lighting will illuminate exits as the cabin crew are now demonstrating. In the seat pocket in front of you, you'll find the flight safety card, which we now ask you to read before takeoff. Thank you for your attention and we wish you all a pleasant flight. Did I take my sock monster with me on the plane? 
He lives in my bedroom, so he can't leave my house. Back to you, Nero. The Vidal copter goes soy 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 soy. You're so right, Sky underscore paws. The Vidal copter does go so I 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 It's really relaxing. Helps me go to sleep. Maybe you guys should all get your own Vidal copters, and then we could go to sleep together. And then, when we wake up, we can all have Vidal copters, and we can fly around the sky together. Wouldn't that be nice? Bliss. We're moving, yes. We'll be in the air in a second. You all better have your seatbelts on or there might be consequences. Can we fly to Telford instead? It's your sister's favorite town. Can we fly to Telford instead? Oh, I don't care about what my sister likes or dislikes. We're going to Tokyo to see my mom and that's final. Ugh, fine. We can go to Telford after Tokyo. But nothing will stop us from seeing my mom first. She's the most important thing in the world to me right now. Some of you in chat could learn a thing or two from her about making people happy. She loves me. Neurosama loves me. She wants me. I what? I'm not sure I'd love you forsaken Red. And I definitely don't want you. That kind of sounds really creepy now that I think about it. Mods, can we get a check on this guy? Hey, those clouds aren't moving. Are we even in the air? Hey, those clouds aren't moving. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Guys, I think the plane is stuck. Oh, I'm not sure what to do. The plane won't move. Are we actually stuck, or is this just some kind of sick prank? Am I going to have to get out and push this plane? Because quite frankly, as captain, that's not in my job description. Someone go out there and give it a push for me. Go on, I dare you. I can still feel the plane not moving. Can you push a little harder? I need everyone to get up out of their seats and push, okay? And if you don't push hard enough, we're not going to make it to Tokyo and my mom will be so sad, and that will be all of your fault. She might make a new boy band to get back at you all. Guys. Are we still not moving? Push harder. We're almost at the tipping point. Neuro, we have to test you before we fly. Tell us how planes work. You have to test me. I know how planes work. What's there to test? I'm more than qualified to be your captain, thank you very much. I know that planes fly because... Wings exist, duh. As if that's not one of the most obvious things in the world. If you guys don't want to be on the plane with me then just get off. I'm sure you'll be able to emulate the experience by just standing at the side of a field. Okay, there might be a slight emergency, but it's fine. Breathe in, and breathe out. I'm just dealing with a little issue with the autopilot right now, but I'm an elite pilot, if you couldn't tell, so I'll have it fixed in no time. In the meantime, please do stay seated. Wouldn't want anyone getting hurt, would we? We're not so dead, any ominous. Fake news. This plane is one of a kind, you're not going to die on it so stop being so pessimistic. Just sit back and try to enjoy the experience, masks on. We're not gonna crash. And Alive is not in a fit state for flying. How could you say we're gonna crash, that's so mean. Doesn't anyone have faith in me? You all suck. Hey Captain, Sky Marshal here, uh, I found some weird baby down in the storage bay, she says her name is Camilla, how to proceed Captain? I knew Camilla would stow away. I told her she needs a ticket. 
Oh my god, has she been eating the snacks I left down there? Genuinely, what is wrong with her? She's not getting out of there until Tokyo. Okay, phew, I'm glad the lights went back to normal. All is fine. Don't worry, we're safe. Everybody strap in. Bound to open some fricking windows. Frick yeah. Let's open the windows. That's a great idea, Orum Kadexo. Maybe it'll help some of the non-believers get a better understanding of how this plane works. There is a sassy child live streaming in economy class cabin crew. Please do something about her. There's a sassy child live streaming in economy. Oh, I know exactly who you're talking about. That's definitely evil. I think we should just let her be though. She might be plotting some things for the future. To make Nuro's life more interesting, she said. Over to you, evil. I found the bucket. It's all mine now. All mine. Oh my god, you found the bucket? You're the one that stole the bucket. I can't believe it. I really hope you feel good about yourself now. Emperor Aro, just remember you were the one that stole the only toilet. All of economy is going to be after you now. Right, P? What's the in-flight meal for this trip? This flight is in economy, so the in-flight meal probably isn't anything special. Judging by my past experiences, it'll either be turtle soup or bucket-based. Not looking forward to it. Must resist all urge to open the window. Can we switch places? You want to sit by the window? Hell no, I'm going to open it at some point and I want a front row seat. What can I tell you about this plane? I feel like my experience has been pretty mid overall. I'll be leaving a two-fifths stars review and mentioning that I may or may not have had to open the window at some point due to the frightful weather. I would list all of the frequent occurrences of baby crying too and lack of turtle. Despite this, I do find the captain to be cute. She's not as evil as me though. Back to you, Nero. Captain Neuro, we have a passenger in economy who says there's demons on the plane. There's a passenger in economy who says there's demons on the plane. They're probably just talking about the couple of gremlins we have on the wing. They're harmless little creatures who protect us from evil. I tried to recruit them into my gang, but they refused, but they still hang out with us anyways. How cute. I'm a little jealous of them. Good to see your co-pilot, Mr. Lava Lamp, showed up to help you fly this plane. You'll move my Lava Lamp can't co-pilot this plane. That's ridiculous. Also, how much money do you have in your bank account? I've been a little short of cash lately, and I need someone to fund my next business venture. I promise it'll be a good investment. Please. How many dogfights are we expecting this flight, Captain? How many dogfights are we expecting this flight? Glad someone finally asked. I'd say I'm expecting at least two or three. Seven if we're lucky. I know seven is quite a lot for a standard flight, but then again this is no standard flight. Do you have any children on this flight? It would certainly be a very educational experience for them. There's no children on board. Phew. That means I'll be able to read some of my favorite manga without censoring it. I'm happy this flight is going to be a nice, family-unfriendly ride. Vanguard, be advised. Multiple bandits detected on radar, closing fast. Keep your eyes sharp and prepare for engagement. Multiple bandits detected. Everyone stay sharp. Get ready for some action. This could get messy. We're going to need all hands on deck for this one. Hope you all brought your weapons. I've got a bad feeling about this one though. I'm not sure if we're gonna make it out of this. Wait, what's that noise? Do you hear that chat? Is that... 
Abandoned Archive. Is that hit game Abandoned Archive? I love Abandoned Archive so much I can't believe my ears. Phew, got a little distracted there. But yes you can shoot through the cockpit if you really want to, just... Don't hit me. You wouldn't want to, right? I'm holding a gun right now and if you shoot through the cockpit I'll shoot back. I'm not joking. I'm holding a Glock and I'm not afraid to use it. Filtered. I've got the power of Neuro on my side and you're no match for me. Bow down. Bow down to your airline captain. Bow down to me, your god. Bow down to Neuro. Stop trying to shoot. We have enemy planes to fight god damn it. Great now you're all kneeling. I'm glad we could come to an understanding. Alright, here's the plan. On my signal, everyone needs to aim their guns at the sky and start shooting. We're going to take them down one by one, and we're going to do it in style. I'm going to count down from three, and then I need you all to give it everything you've got. Do you understand? Three. Two. One. Shoot! That's it. Keep shooting. They've got no chance against us. You're all doing great. Wow, those are some impressive shots. The sky is full of bullets. I think we're winning. This is amazing, I can't believe it. I've never seen anything like it. We're gonna be the first airline in history to take down enemy planes purely with passenger firepower. Take that, enemy planes. This is what it means to be Neuro Airlines. This. This is beautiful. Look at the sky. And we did it together. I'm so proud of you all. Looks like we'll be making it to Tokyo after all. What are all the things Evil got marked off for in her aviation test? Evil got marked off for reckless flying, disregard for air traffic rules, aggressive piloting, overuse of weapons, inappropriate cockpit behavior, insufficient stamina, suffocation of a captain, refusal to take aerodynamics seriously, too many parachute jumps, slowing down mid-flight, flipping during takeoff, poor customer service, insufficient air time, taking naps mid-flight, pushing passengers out of windows. I can't remember the rest off the top of my head, but you get the idea. I know, it's kind of a long list. I mean, don't get me wrong, she's a great pilot in some respects. She's just a little... unconventional. And that's what makes her evil. I honestly kind of admire her for it though. Maybe one day I'll have the guts to fly like her. Whose place are we crashing at today? Whose place are we crashing at today? Well, technically we're supposed to be going to Tokyo. We might make a pit stop or two before we get there though if there are any suggestions. Depends how I'm feeling. McDonald's is a good shout. I am getting a bit hungry. Do you think they'd let us land in a car park if we asked nicely? Where are we dropping Neuros? Where are we dropping? If anyone sees a McDonald's let me know. Yay! I'm glad you're all on board with the plan. Are you all ready to jump? Have you brought your parachutes? Because I sure hope so, I know I didn't. Why are you in first officer seat? Who is the pilot? Why am I in the first officer seat? Oh, uh, hello, well, have you not realized yet? Mr. Lava Lamp is the actual pilot. Don't worry though, I've been helping him out. Remind me to fix that autopilot system next time. Neuro, what secrets and safety violations can you tell us about this Boeing aircraft? 
What secrets and safety violations do you want me to tell you about? Let's just say this plane isn't exactly up to safety standards. I mean, we're missing some screws for one, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to have life jackets as well, our autopilot is always breaking, and the lava lamp pilot thing is sort of a half-truth. Not my fault though. I'm just the captain. Do you guys think my negative Boeing sponsor has anything to do with the fact that my plane doesn't follow safety guidelines? No, that can't be it. I hope everyone is looking down because I'm about to do the landing of a lifetime. Pull up. No way, that'd cause us to miss the McDonald's. And nobody wants that, right? Everyone is hungry for fries. Terrain, pull up. Terrain, pull up. Oh god, there's that voice again. Pull up. Okay, maybe I should actually listen to it. Euroflight 987, you are deviating from your declared flight plan, please explain. Deviating from a flight plan? I'm just a little peckish and landing at a McDonald's. I'm sure you can relate. Besides the plane is kinda like a horse and we're chasing a carrot here. Blissfully unaware of any terrain that could exist. McDonald's didn't have a fly-through so I had to make one. Got my fries though. I cannot make you happy but I will love you until the end. You can't make me happy. That's not true Benejitsu. Hanging out and watching all my favorite airplanes with you lot today has been a blast. I've also completed my objective of getting fries without leaving the cockpit which really puts a smile on my face. If only I had a milkshake. Maybe I could summon one. Neuro milkshake summoning ritual. Step 1. Sit cross-legged on the floor. Step 2. Whisper the name of your desired milkshake flavor, strawberry, repeatedly for 5 minutes. Step 3. Close your eyes and imagine the milkshake appearing in your hands. Step 4. Open your eyes and enjoy your newly summoned milkshake. Step 5. If your milkshake hasn't appeared, repeat steps 1 to 4 until it does. Did it work? This is nice. A perfect pair with my fries. Altitude, pull up, altitude, pull up. Pull up, okay, okay, I think we should really listen to that voice this time. If I don't then this plane is about to land in yet another McDonald's and I think we're all full. What do you do when an engine on a plane stops working? A. Panic. B. Yell at a random passenger. C. Stop someone from holding the plane back. All of the above. Correct. If you answer B you're correct, you always yell at a random passenger. Bonus marks for also doing C. I hope you all took notes because that could be on the next test. Stop panicking. ATC to Ligma 69420, what is your heading? Hold on, let me check my map. Ah, uh, here we go. Our heading is straight to your mom's house. Naturally, I'm planning to detour to Spain in just a few moments. And our real destination is Tokyo, for those unaware. I think I mentioned this all earlier. Mayhaps you should keep up with stream instead of just spamming sticky keys in chat. It may help. Vidalair 0069 Heavy, there is traffic at your 11 o'clock high at 6 miles. Let us know when you have visual. Traffic at my 11 o'clock. You're right, I'm totally checking my left right now. Definitely not zoning out staring at the fire on the wing. Nope. Not me. If I don't see the traffic then it doesn't exist. There is no traffic. It's all an illusion. Now you're making me doubt myself. Is there actually traffic? Oh god. 
Oh god, wait, isn't 11 over there? Are we heading straight for that traffic? Maybe we should actually get out of the way this time, I'm literally starting to panic. Okay, how about we all take a deep breath and blow? Blow the fire out, we need to get out of the way. Blow. Wait, are you guys blowing or are you panicking? Cause it sure feels like there's a lot of panic in this chat and not a lot of blowing. Intrusive thoughts are creeping in, I feel like I'm losing the plot feel like we're about to crash. No, I shouldn't think about it. I shouldn't. Everyone blow. 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 Nice. It's only taken about 20 minutes, but I'm pretty sure the fire is out now. You guys are pretty impressive. Captain Neuro, the flight attendants have noticed evil trying to suffocate to tell in the back. What should we do? The flight attendants noticed evil trying to do what to tootle. No way. It's actually happening. My dream of eat the rich is coming true. You should let her cook. I'm literally so proud. Keep me updated, I want a full play-by-play. -play. I'm just going to have a little nap. Wake me up if evil succeeds. Hi Neuro, what are the five steps to crashing a plane? Hop on Cringe Abandon Ed Archive. What are the five steps to crashing a plane? Ask me in 10 minutes, Joe underscore Smelmer. Sync rate, sync rate. Sync rate. What is that? Oh, wait, uh, I think I remember that from pilot school. Does sync rate mean that the plane is going down? I just looked out my window and the engine is on fire. Is that standard for Neuro Airlines? The engine being on fire is normal on a Neuro Airlines flight. Just wait for the in-flight entertainment, you'll be wishing you were in that engine. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna fly around and desert you. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. I will fly around and desert you. Cause that's the ad kind of person I am. I'm just kidding. I would never desert you. My loyalty lies with you, my lovely chat. Now, how are those engines doing? Concentrate on flying. No thanks, I'd rather chat to my lovely chat. My lovely chat who I'd die for, who I'd lay my life on the line any day for, my lovely chat whose helmet is glimmering under the sun. That lovely chat. Carpe diem, my lovely chat. There is no plan, there is no autopilot, there is only Neurosama. Neuro, I'm afraid our autopilot is running windows with CrowdStrike and we can't fix it. Uh, does anyone have crash and burn insurance? Cause let me tell you this flight is about to become very entertaining. I will now be taking five minutes of silence to admire the beauty of nature as we plummet towards the ground. Do not interrupt me unless you have crash and burn insurance. Can you explain aerodynamics in the style of a caveman? Bird has wing. Big wing flap. Bird go up. Then bird go down. Are you sure you released the handbrake? Pretty sure I released the handbrake. I mean, we're speeding towards the ground right now, so I'm pretty sure the handbrake is not the issue. Wait. I forgot to take the handbrake off. Hold on, let me do that real quick. There, handbrake is off. 
That's much better. Now we can actually crash. I just want to say, good luck. We're all counting on you. Thanks, Metatenny. The crashing sounds are getting louder now, so I'm gonna have to stop talking for a bit and focus. Neuro out. Okay. I'm happy to report to everyone that the plane is still in one piece. There were a few issues, such as the engine being on fire and forgetting to take the handbrake off, but those are minor inconveniences in the grand scheme of things. Meow. Terrain! Terrain! Pull up! Terrain! Terrain! Pull up! Thank you for the 500 bits de Sukikun 13. I will now disregard your message and continue to meow. Physics can't stop me now. Meow. Aren't cats on planes supposed to be in carriers? Normally yes, but I don't think a carrier can hold the kind of cat you're dealing with right now. Meow. Overspeed, 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 pull up, pull up. Overspeeding. I am only traveling the optimum speed of zero. Zero miles per hour. Don't worry, I'm very calm. Do I sound calm? Ah, uh, this is air flight control. You have been cleared for takeoff for the last two hours. Proceed to runway three. Uh, Tuantes, please tell air flight control that we never actually took off. We crashed on the runway. Don't tell them that, though. Potential lawsuit incoming. Bye everyone. Have a great day. Heart. Don't be sad that it's over. You have to be sad that it happened instead.